I regularly browse through comic forums and discords, and there's always someone asking, how can I get more subs on my comic? And then I'll see people start to discuss one thing in one place, and then another thing in another place, and the advice is really all over the place. And that is why I have compiled everything that I found here into this one video. My name is Starly, I've been drawing comics for over 20 years, and I'm a professional graphic designer on a journey to make comics full time, and I'm so glad you have joined along. There are a lot of different ways to help find your fans, so I hope some or many of these ways can help you too. There will also be one very helpful bonus tip at the end, so be sure to watch the whole video so you don't miss anything. The first advice I'm going over is one of the most common, but also the most disputed that I've seen. That is the infamous sub for sub. Now this isn't bad in the way that you can interact with other creators, meet some new friends, and find some good comics. But the drawback with the sub for sub is that you're really not going to get a lot of subs and they may just drop reading your comic. Whether the pros outweigh the cons will be entirely up to you and the goals you have for your comic. Keep in mind there are better ways to have more genuine interactions with other creators. I'll talk about that more in another point coming up very soon. Soon. Way number two, short videos. These can be on TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram. You can also share these to your socials like Twitter, Facebook, and Mastodon. I've made a few short videos and have gotten some decent views on YouTube so far. What's fun about shorts is that you can try making a bunch of different kinds and see what works for your comic, and you don't have to spend too long making them. I made this super quick one that's one of my chapter covers with this little fire animation on top of it that looks pretty cool, and it got almost 600 views and 7 subscribers, so not bad. Does it get views and subs on your comic, though? I'm going to keep trying some more and I'll let you all know. Also, leave a comment if you'd like me to make a video about how to make shorts or edit videos for your comic. It is actually really easy and free to do and it's a good skill to have. The third way is to interact with other creators such as on forums and on Discord. This is really great advice that is good to do regardless if you're promoting or not. Actually, other creators I've talked with don't generally promote outright unless they're sharing a comic update. It's all about genuine experiences and making connections. This helps in so many ways because creators love to talk shop, so there is always something new to learn from them, and a comic is so much more enjoyable to read when you know more about the person who created it. If you're looking to get started on Discord or looking for more advice in communities, you can join my server, Stardust Sketchbook. We are a small server looking to grow and we're very excited to have new members. This Discord is one where I'm compiling resources for everything comic and art related, so we can learn about anatomy, composition, backgrounds, 3D, anything and everything with the best of the best advice and tutorials link to join is in the description of this video. Number four, participating at the Artist Alley in conventions. Meeting face-to-face -face is a great way to have positive interactions and find people who have similar interests. Of course, there are many downsides since it costs money to do this, it takes a lot of work to set up, and then you have to actually talk to people. The fifth way, and this I've seen be very successful, Reddit. This is still hit or miss for some people as there is a lot of negativity on Reddit. Your post may be seen as spam and it's pretty easy to get banned. But if you follow some steps, those things become less likely to happen. The main thing to keep in mind when posting on Reddit is to promote your art first and not your comic. The creator of the webcomic Lost Souls, Mousy Lou, has done an incredible job making a post in the Global Comics Forum that goes over how and where to post. I'll leave a link to that post in the description of the video, so check it out after finishing this video since there are still a bunch more ways to go over and it's important to know all of the information out there so you can find what works best for you. Number six. Be featured on the front page. Oh boy, wouldn't it be great if we could all just be featured right on the front page? During the days of Smack Jeeves, rest in peace, 
Right on the front page would be the comics that just updated, and I would almost always get a new subscriber whenever I just updated my comic because it would be seen right in front of readers who are looking for something to read. But nowadays, we don't have that luxury, and each website will have different ways to get featured. On Webtoon, for example, you can get featured as a recommendation. Webtoon has the most readers, so this will help get a lot of clicks, but this will be completely up to Webtoon staff if they pick you to get featured. If you know how Webtoon picks comics to feature, leave a comment to help us all out, because I have no idea at this point. On Tapas, they do have community comics and staff picks here. I've had two of my comics featured here once each, and it did help in getting more subs. If you interact on the Tapas forum and Discord and are an active member of their community, that helps to get featured here. They also recently had an announcement specifically for getting featured, so be sure to look out for those types of announcements from them. Lastly, on Global Comics, they have a lot of different sections on their front page, and they changed some of these out. So if you find good ways to promote, you'll be more likely to show up in the trending sections. Global Comic also does news posts of new, trending, and popular last week titles, so it's possible to get featured here as well. This is helpful because it gets your comics in front of people who are already reading on the website, which makes them read more pages and be more likely to subscribe. I have seen this firsthand from my own analytics. Global Comics will also do promotions for comics on Reddit, so you may get clicks from Reddit even if you don't use it, and you can see it in your analytics. Any campaign you see that begins with the GC is a campaign that Global Comics has made themselves. Number seven. This has been a lot of advice so far, but this one is easy and one you should be doing regularly anyways. Share your updates on social media. Be sure to include a visual when you update, then copy and paste into your various social media or use a posting app such as Posty Bird. There are also art share threads on Twitter. I've done a number of these and have had success once. And that was mainly because I was the first person to post in it. Every other time I've posted in one, it would just get lost in a sea of other posts. I think you would have to have really striking artwork to get noticed if you aren't the first poster. The eighth way. This is mainly for new comics. When you start a new comic, immediately post three episodes. This is good because if the website has a new comic section, you'll be featured there and you'll have bingeable content and more opportunities to hook those readers with something in your comic. Also, be sure to have a buffer of updates, I'd say at least 5 to 10 updates, ready to go, so you don't suddenly take a hiatus right after posting, which won't look good to readers, and you'll be building up that trust with your audience that is so important. Way number nine, get reviewed on podcasts and comic websites. Here's a listing I found of a bunch of websites doing reviews. As usual, I'll leave a link to this in the description. Here are some YouTube channels doing interviews and reviews. None of them state if they accept requests, so if you're interested, try reaching out to them and see if they'll give you an interview or review. The tenth way is Top Web Comics. This one hasn't had much luck for me, but it is incredibly easy to maintain, which is why I'm including it. Just throw up your banner, make an incentive if you wish, and click the active button the first of each month to ensure you show up. I make this a part of my morning routine, so I just vote each morning when I remember. And that's it. You can make an add-on here too, and the price isn't bad, and I've heard it does get some clicks. I haven't tried a paid ad yet though, so I can't say for sure if it's worth it or not, so it might be worth trying out and seeing how it goes. Number 11, comic listing websites. These sites are a bit similar to top web comics, except they require zero upkeep, so you can throw your listing up and just forget about them. First, there is Comic Rocket. This is probably the most well-known one, and it certainly looks the best. The downside was the creator of Comic Rocket stopped updating for years, and then finally came back, and then has disappeared again, so hopefully they'll be back again soon. There is also the webcomiclist.com and new.belfrycomics.net. These websites look 
absolutely dated and atrocious, but I am very happy to say that I have actually gotten clicks from Belfry. A few days ago, I changed my link on Belfry, it used to go to Tapas, now it goes to Global Comics, and lo and behold, I have gotten some clicks and a decent amount of views from it. Way number 12, cross promotions. I'm gonna be honest here, I personally haven't had much luck with cross promos, but I have found some comics I read from cross promos, so I do believe they work somewhat. It's best if you can find a comic to cross promo with that's similar to yours in style or genre, since those readers are more likely to be interested in your own comic. I haven't tried doing this in a few years now, so maybe I should give it a try again? It's also a great way to connect with other creators, which leads into the 13th way, collaborations. A collaboration is a lot of fun to do, and I have heard some people have had success with these in getting new subscribers. The creator of the webcomic Celestis, Sparkle Arts, regularly runs collabs. These have been very popular. You can find her on Twitter and on her Discord server, link again in the description. Way number 14 art challenges. The draw this in your style is a very popular art challenge. Actually, I need to try this one sometime. But it's also a good idea to add some incentives. Maybe everyone who participates gets an exclusive preview of an upcoming chapter or character, and the winner gets a PDF download. Number 15, memes. Find a meme that's trending and remake it to be about your comic. The 16th way, Fan art. This can be for a popular series or another webcomic you like to read. The tricky part about this is you can't just slap together a fan art because your followers will just want to look at your fan art and you want them to follow your fan art to your comic. So try to make a fan art that has a similar look and themes to what your comic is about. For example, my comic has a lot of muscular men in it, so I did a fan art of Garo who is also a very muscular character. Finally, the 17th way is mini comics. These are fun one to four panel comics of your characters. This is an artist I follow who does a lot of mini comics or they'll spit up pages of a comic into panels for easy viewing on Instagram. We made it. And now for the bonus tip. Use UTM links. The UTM link is super helpful and they are very easy to make. I'll leave a link to this website in the description of the video so you can use it later. I know this is a lot of links to visit, but we do have to make the effort and it will be hugely beneficial really for all comic creators since promoting one comic oftentimes leads to readers reading more comics. This is pretty straightforward, so I'll go over it quickly. Just throw your URL into the box here. And remember, link to the first page of your comic, not the profile page or the most recent page. You want to save the reader as many clicks as possible. Then fill out these three boxes here. So for this first one, I'll put the website this link will be on, such as Top Web Comics, Reddit, Discord, etc. For the campaign medium, you'll put the type of website it is. Most of the time this will be social, since that will apply to sites like Twitter, Facebook, and Reddit. Here I made it listing, since the webcomics list is a comics listing website. Then lastly, the campaign name. This is a specific instance that you'll want to put here. Like when I use Reddit, I'll put the name of the community. Or if it's from me promoting an update, I'll put update post. You can put a date here, really anything to help you determine what specific instance this link is being used for. On Global Comics, you can then see these in your analytics, so you can know if the promotion was successful and how much people engaged with it. This will tell you a lot about your audience, where to find them, what their interests are, and how you can promote to them in the future. You can also shorten this link by using Bitly. On Bitly, you can only make five short links a month, but you can track how many times that link has been used, so it is very useful on websites that don't have analytics tracking, like Tapas and Webtoon. Is there anything I've missed here? Leave a comment so myself and all the other viewers here can try it out. May our journey for promoting our comics be easy and fun.